from CBS News World Headquarters in New York. This is the CBS Evening News with Katie Curry. Good evening, everyone. The future of the country will soon be in their hands, but America's school children are not keeping up with the competition from overseas. Today, President Obama said one answer is more school. He wants to extend the school year by as much as a month. The president also said he knows firsthand the challenges many schools are facing, including right in the nation's capital. Here's our chief White House correspondent, Chip Reed. President Obama's daughters, 7th grader Malia and 4th grader Sasha, go to an elite private school where tuition is more than $30,000 a year. Today, the president, a strong proponent of public schools, was asked if he thought his daughters would get the same high-quality education in a D.C. public school. I'll be blunt with you. The answer is no right now. Uh, the the D.C. Uh, public school systems are struggling. The president said it's not just the D.C. schools. Across the nation, public schools are falling behind. He called for more money and a longer school year, but said that's only part of the solution. More important, he said, is an aggressive program of education reform. But that puts the president in a political bind, because much of his reform program has been resisted by the teachers' unions, a powerful Democratic interest group. If President Obama is going to have a reform agenda that really works and really makes a difference. He will have to take the teachers unions on, at least in part. Uh, he doesn't have to disagree with them on everything, but he has to make them hurt at least a little. Areas where the unions have fought the president's agenda include the Race to the Top program, in which states compete for federal dollars for their own reform programs, using student test scores to evaluate teachers even to set their pay, and firing teachers for poor performance. The head of the National Education Association, whose 3.2 million members make it the largest union in America, downplayed the differences and said he agrees with the president that the status quo is unacceptable. We support rigorous and fair evaluation systems. I can tell you educators don't want incompetent or ineffective teachers in the classroom. Some advocates of education reform are urging the president to compromise with Republicans if they take control of the House next year. You can bet that if he does that, his relations with the teachers' unions will take a turn for the worse. Katie? And Chip, I know the president's following the lead of other countries that do already have longer school years by about a month, but how does he propose to do this, and how does he expect, or does he expect to get a lot of blowback from parents and kids? Oh, absolutely, Katie. He does not plan to legislate it. It wouldn't be done by law. What they would do is encourage states and school districts uh, to do it on their own. Perhaps then they would get some of the blame. Katie. All right. Chip Reed at the White House. Chip, thanks very much. In other news, this country